What's up mga kokote? It's me, Guya Kyle, and welcome to Quadder Knows, where you learn is the name of the game. At kung bago pa lang dito sa YouTube channel, don't forget to click the subscribe, like, and share buttons for more updates and videos. So, what's up mga, what's up, mga kokote? So, we have your investigative project, <coughs> writing the research. This would be our topic for the day, pero bago lahat ng yun, uh, punta muna tayo sa ating trivia para sa araw na ito. So, ang trivia natin is, Did you know our sharpest memories are from early adulthood? <coughs> Usually called the reminiscence bump. This psychological concept theorizes that as adults reflect on their lives, <coughs> they remember more events from their 20s than from any other time. So mahal ano parang pag nag ano tayo, pag naging matanda tayo, mas mahal natin yung 20s natin pataas kaysa sa below yon sa mga high school days mas mahala natin yung parang college days natin kung paano natin simulan yung mga bagay-bagay <coughs> so ay lang ating trivia so let's get into our agenda naman our agenda is to know how to write research the important things in research paper on writing the research and importance of the topic itself so yung important things pala yung mga aspects nito <coughs> mga yung mga iba't ibang parang putahe para matutunan natin ang topic na ito. So bago natin ano, alamin yung iba't ibang aspect niya. Ano nga ba talaga muna yung writing the research? So I will be reading this one for you. So you need to listen guys and especially to the other parts of the <coughs> PowerPoint kasi doon ko sabihin yung details. So let's start. After conducting the initial procedures for your science investigatory project, you need to conduct the experiment and study the entire process. Afterwards, you will prepare your document. The research paper. The research paper substances your experiment, just like the other forms of research papers. The science investigatory project research paper follows an outline. <coughs> sorry, sorry. So, research paper. Ano nga ba yung research paper? So, uh, a research paper should be prepared and available along with the project data. Project data book and any necessary forms of relevant written materials, ha? Written, hindi writing materials, okay? <clears throat> and a research paper is, is capable of helping to organize data as well as thoughts and Uh, a good research paper or a good paper uh, includes the following sections which is we have your title page statement of problems and madami pa sa next slide so dito, dito muna tayo sa title page so sa, sa, yung title page is yung title of your project uh, it must be brief simple and catchy like <clears throat> for example Harry Potter the Sorcerer's Stone so di ba parang simple lang siya pero catchy siya parang Ayun yung sa title. And next is statement of problem. So, we have there two objectives, the general and specific. Pero ano muna yung state of problem or objectives? Uh, it is the nature and scope of the problem. And it should be presented with the uh, clarity. And the two types are general objective and specific objective. In general objective, it, <coughs> it tells that this is uh, related to the problem as given in the early part of the section and in the specific objective this states the purpose of each experiment conducted so sa general the early parts of the <coughs> the problem and the uh, specific is the purpose of each experiment na pinahita or kinandak next is methodology so methodology provides enough details so that a competent worker can repeat the experiments Next up is materials or equipment. So the exact technical specifications, quantities, and source of method of preparation for all materials used should be given. Specifically, built equipment used in the study must be described as the description accompanied by a picture. Next up is the treatment or the general procedure. Uh, in this manner, the sequence. Uh, in this manner and sequence by which each experiment. Of, of or set of observations were done 
and how measurements were obtained should be described in detail. Avoid using the <coughs> recipe style when starting the step-by-step -step procedure. Instead, use the narrative form of in the past tense. <coughs> Next, we have is results and discussion. So, this may be divided into two subsections describing each of experiment or observations. So, how would you discuss your experiment? How would you divide them in bisections? How would you describe them? And what's the result of your uh, experiment and your observations? <coughs> Next is findings. So, findings, the data may be presented in a full and discussed descriptively in the test or this may be summarized in tables, pictures, and graphs. The statistical test used to determine the possible significance of the finding should be described. Tables, pictures, and graphs should make the presentation of the data meaningful. So that's that belongs to findings. The the mga data must be presented in a full descriptive way. And you can use uh, tables, pictures, and graphs there. Next is anal analysis of data. So the interpretation, the interpretation of the findings are discussed and significant features shown in the table. Figures or graphs are pointed out. So this is analysis of the data. Uh, yung mga <coughs> yung mga bagay na 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 nalagay mo sa I mean, yung mga interpretation mo sa mga findings mo, uh, dapat sa analysis of data is madidiscuss mo siya and mahalalagay mo yung mga significant na features, yung mga mahalagang bagay, mahalagang detalye. Next up is conclusions. The general truth implied or illustrated by the results should be clearly stated. The evidence based on the results should be summarized of each statement. <coughs> Next is recommendations. Consist of suggestions on future actions such as new direction of research or further experiments to be performed. Practices that might be adopted or discarded in order to attain certain goals or objectives. And lastly, we have bibliography. This is a list of references that used in guiding the research work in writing paper. So you need to cite your references where your data came from. So, next is the importance of writing a research. So, writing a research paper is the primary channel for passing on knowledge to scientists working in the same field or related fields. It is important to hone the skill of writing papers to demonstrate your ability to understand, relate to what has been learned, and as well as receive critical peer feedback. So, that's all. Thank you for listening. I hope that you learned something in our topic for today which is writing the research and again this is Sir Kehal and I am signing out.